You know, it was a shocking video to watch someone who is clearly picking out his target and then charging at this individual and drilling with all his force the individual onto the subway tracks. It happened just around 2.30 in the afternoon on Friday, October 21st, and it really wasn't picked up by most of the media until the next day. When the video started surfacing, the police released it, and that's when everybody all of a sudden was like, whoa, there's been way too many stories recently of subway riders being pushed or thrown in front of moving trains or being knocked out. And as far as the statistics go, subway crime is up 39% since the latest numbers in 2019. So unfortunately for David Martin, who is the victim in this subway shove, he had no idea that this was coming. You can see when he went down onto the train bed, he broke his clavicle and he went down a good six, seven, eight feet from the platform to the track bed. So a suspect was taken into custody, Lamal McRae. He was identified by using facial recognition software in the video. He was booked, processed, perp walked. We were at the perp walk. He said some strange things to the officers as he was getting in the car. China, North Korea, my allies. We at war, what's up? but nowhere near as strange as he said to us when we went and jailhoused him at Rikers Island. He was saying that he was the second coming of Jesus. He said that he was gonna have power over the judge so he didn't have to worry about going to jail. This video was so shocking and such a reminder of what's going on that the mayor and the governor both presented a plan which they titled Cops, Cameras, Care. It involves more police being put into the transit system and adding 50 beds for homeless people that are to be taken from the transit system at local hospitals. We asked the victim's mother about what she thought of the mayor and the governor's plan. She completely disagreed with it. And she said, quote, Mayor Adams is completely not in touch with what's going on. She said, more cops, he's wrong. Literally telling us this is a mental health crisis. All that being said, as more and more people are pushed to start taking mass transit again, to commuting to their jobs, this problem is going to come to a head. I believe it already has unless something changes, unless, as this victim's mother said, these people are taken out of the subway system and put into the hospitals and given the care they need. So if you wanna stay on top of coverage of stories like this for the New York Post, feel free to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you.